Hi, I'm Amy, and my business is called Mama Bear Blue, and I'm excited to share this new paint inlay with you today. So the new Vita Flora paint inlay has just been released. It is a collaboration between Iron Orchid Designs and Debbie Beard of Debbie's Design Diary. And today I'm going to do four projects from some thrifted finds using this paint inlay and giving you some tips along the way. So let's get started. Vita Flora comes with eight pages of beautiful colored birds, flowers, stems, leaves, vines, butterflies. Applying the paint inlay into different colors can really change the way the paint inlay looks. So today with these four projects, I'm going to be painting each of them in a different color. Besides the paint inlay, I'll be using some DIY paint, DIY's Big Top, which is a water-based clear sealer, and also I have a small spray bottle filled with a 50-50 mix of Big Top and water. You can find all of these products, including the new inlay, on my website, mamabearblue.com. So I just took some time here going through each page and lining them up with the different projects to see which pieces would fit best on the different projects, and then I cut out the pieces as always before you start your project be sure to wipe it down well On this pair of stools I decided to use the color little black dress DIY paint is an all-natural clay based paint it is highly pigmented and provides great coverage as with most projects, I applied two coats of the paint, letting it dry in between coats. And then it was time to paint the tote and I decided to go with Queen Bee. And again, putting two coats on. And then for the planter box, at least I think it's a planter box. I'm actually not sure, but that's what I'm going to use it for. I decided to use the color Kissing Booth, which is a bright pink. And I applied two coats to this as well. And on the wooden tray, I used Vintage Linen. Now to apply the paint inlays, you will need to apply a coat of paint to the area where you want your paint inlay to go. The pigments on this inlay will embed into the wet paint. So you wanna make sure that you've covered the entire area where you want those pigments to go. You don't wanna to use too much paint, but you wanna have enough that the pigments have something to grab onto. Before I laid this paint inlay sheet down, I did mist it slightly with water just to soften up the paper a bit, make it a bit more flexible, and that way it will give you less wrinkles in your project. So I laid the inlay down into the wet paint, smoothing it out a bit with my hands, gave it a slight mist with the water bottle, and then used the IOD brayer to gently roll out any wrinkles. But it is normal to have some wrinkles with these paint inlay projects, they aren't meant to be perfect. They are meant to have an organic look as if they are painted on, so there will be some differences in texture. Another neat aspect of these paint inlays are that the pigments can be reactivated up until the time they are sealed. At that point, before you seal them, you can use water to reactivate these pigments to move some of the pigment around or add details. These inlays had been drying for about an hour. I lightly misted them with the water bottle to get them ready to be removed. Here I'm just tapping it just to absorb a little bit of the excess water and then I began to 
remove the paper. If you're getting a lot of resistance as you're pulling, just re-wet your paper, wait a couple of minutes and try again. I then take a small spray bottle with a 50-50 mix of the Big Top Sealer and water and just gently mist it on. If you were to brush on the sealer at this point, it could smear the pigments. Just to give a bit of subtle detail to the seats of these stools, I decided to use the Pennsylvania Folk stamp and the IOD Stone Gray ink. I then stamped around the paint inlay image on the top of these stools. And I waited about 24 hours until the ink had fully dried and then I applied a coat of Big Top with a brush using a very light hand. I did this same process to all four of the projects. And then just because I love the look and sheen of clear wax, I did put a coat over the entire project. Remember, all of these projects had previously been sealed by spritzing with the 50-50 mix of Big Top and water, followed by a brushed on coat of Big Top, and then the clear wax, letting everything dry between coats. The last step was to wipe them all with a soft cloth. And for all the paint and products I used here today, you can visit my website, mamabearblue.com, and I will also put links to the individual products in the description box below. As you can see, the paint inlays can look very different depending on the color that they are embedded into. Let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.